Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to use the 3D printing software. I use Simplify 3D. Sorry, it opened up on the screen. Oh, it's got something there I made the other day. I made a made a sugar pot. I'm just scrolling in with my mouse and just right clicking the left button to actually move it around. So I made the sugar pot lid. So we don't really need that. Remove that. Okay. Uh, so we want to um, import a file. So I saved it. I saved it somewhere. Key ring thing. There it is. Oh, there's the key ring that I made. Look at that. It's got the little letters that are different heights, the thing, the cut edge. Um, there's a couple of different things I can do. Um, I can center, center and arrange it. Um, so if I can import multiple things. So say I imported something else. I don't know what this is. Yeah, one millimeter format. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a 3D scan of someone I did. I don't actually want that. So remove that. Okay, but I could open other things, so what else could I import? Um, some of you might remember this from last time, it's that high heel. So it lets you put multiple things on, but you see that actually won't fit. Okay, so for now we're just going to do one item, so I'm going to remove that, I don't need to remove it. Okay, and I click center and range and it puts it back. Okay, so now I've got these different process settings. Sorry, it came on the other screen. So we're using the Wanho Duplicator Jewel and using the right extruder. You can change the extruder depending if you click these. These are different kinds of plastics that you have. So you guys, I think on your printer, have got ABS. You can change it to PLA depending on your plastic. Um, infill. So, you know, how much of the actual object you want to be solid. 20% is pretty good. I normally just stick with 20%, but if you want a solid thing, you can make it 100% infill or 0%, up to you. Um, supports. So when you've got something that's overhanging, you can actually adjust this. Uh, it's up to you. There's this temperature one. Um, make sure you've got your temperature set to 100 if you're using ABS plastic. Uh, you can change that, I think, by double-clicking that and just changing it. And you want to relay temperature between each layer. Okay, that's really important for the heater build platform. Okay, um, right extruder, that's the temperature. 210 is pretty standard for PLA and um, ABS, but you can get it down to 180 for PLA if you want. It's up to you. Okay, uh, I'm not using the left extruder. So I want a raft, always use a raft and always generate support. That's what I always do, but I mean, it's up to you. You can change settings around if you want. So you've got your thing there, or you maybe have lot multiple different things as long as they fit. You go prepare to print. Press OK. And um, then you just click begin printing of, of a USB. Now mine's not going to work because my printer's not turned on, but that's how you do it. Um, you can actually see what the printer is actually... Oh, what's going on? Yeah, it doesn't like it because my printer's not connected. But um, there we go. You can actually preview it. So, so we put that there, and then we go, oh, that's interesting, isn't it? All right, so we can see how it's actually going to do its print, layer by layer. We can just see, oh, yeah, it's going to do that, and then it's going to do the top bit, and then it's going to do the top. So anyway, that's a little tutorial on how to actually do the 3D printing. Sometimes when you try to print over USB, it doesn't work. Um, you can go machine control panel, and it brings up this control panel. Um, if you've got a different COM port, you can select the different COM port. Um, normally COM1 and COM3 are like default on the, on the computer, they are on mine. Never choose COM1, it always is there, but there's normally another COM port if the machine's on. Um, and you need to make sure your board rate is 115200, and it'll say here if it's actually connected. Um, you can move the um, thing around by, you know, jogging it using these settings. I tend not to adjust these much, but you can for troubleshooting. Also, you've got this thing up here, which is, where is it? Eh, you got bed living wizard, I'm not really sure what everything does. You can calculate volume. So it's saying that this is um, 12 cubic centimeters. That's so you can work out how much plastic you're using. Um, you can put things in, so it's saying it's gonna weigh 12 and it's gonna cost us 56 cents to actually make that based on you know the weight of plastic settings that you've put in. So, you know, there's lots of things you can fiddle around with. Um, 
I don't really use a lot of them, I just use it for printing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this tutorial.